Cameron just tries to quit, but he's sent outside and Michael Hayes jumps out of this van and I couldn't hear a word Michael Hayes said. It might might have been my TV. Other people apparently knew what he said, but he's being all crazy and he's just Cameron whatever. gets in the van. It was just it was just uh to do a to pop people with a cameo of Michael Hayes at, you know, sixty one years old. So and he's uh there he was, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> just had him. I mean, at first I'm thinking like fucking Michael Hayes. Dude, so they're ago. playing to their audience, Dave. I know that's exactly that's, what I that's realized. Nothing Dave. to worry about here. That's right. It's it's just like you got to be 55 years old to remember Bad Street USA, and it's like, well, that's their audience: 55 year old single guys. So yeah, 55 year old single guys have watched wrestling for 35 years, 40 years. Bad Street USA is part of their growing up. It's fine. Yeah. Then we had the Haunted House of Terror. So listen, this actually was in two parts. So there I, was, I would say that, so there was well, hold on. There was the part here where they actually went to a house and then they returned to the building and they did a match. Now, listen, it this sucked. first part here. OK, if you hated this, fine. All right. But at least I know what they were trying to do here. And that was, it's Halloween Havoc. Yeah. We're going to spoof every horrible Halloween movie you've ever seen. And it was basically like a Halloween movie version of the Boneyard match. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So Cameron When Grimes, they I got back to the ring, though, hold on. When they went back to the building, and there's fucking zombies in the ring and smoke, that was bullshit. Was, that was, I hated. Okay, Cameron Grimes was great. He absolutely was great in this segment. But, I mean, the one thing in the, in the house, it really, okay. What I will say, in the house, it really was like only three minutes. It felt much longer. It felt like forever, but it really wasn't that long. So, in that sense, it wasn't that bad. And it was all different side gags. It wasn't like it got slow. I just thought it was like, you know. It Whatever. was a bad horror movie by design. Yeah. And if you hated it, fine. That's great. But that's what that was. Yeah. But getting I mean, in what, the, the ring and having zombies in the ring and smoke in the ring, uh, that was dumb. Yeah. Well, the numbers will, you know, it's going to be an interesting show with numbers because like the, the Io Shirai Candice LeRae match in theory should do real, real well. Um I don't know. I mean, the Priest match is going against the Wardlow match, which will be interesting. The um, the Shirai match is going against the Omega match, which also should be interesting. But um, the thing is, is that when you do the stuff, I mean, like, the thing I saw with the Gargano Priest match is they did a lot of stuff outside and a lot of times, like when the Young Bucks did that match with Butcher and Blade outside, um, the ring and you do like all those unique things. It did real well. Now this one with the priest and, and, um, Gargano, they really didn't do unique things, but it was still a different look. And I think a different look works. I think that the, um, the Halloween thing, I think, you know, um, so, so the, the deal is, it's like Dexter Loomis segments usually like do terrible numbers. Okay. But it was a unique thing in the house. And it was really weird. So I wonder if people will just kind of be like, well, this is different. Maybe that will help. I mean, it's going to be, they tried a lot of stuff that I think some of it should work, like the TLC match. Like, I, I, it, that better work. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, by the way, I, I also, I thought Chassie Blackheart was great in her role. I thought she really came off like <laughs> she had like 30 seconds of screen time. No, but she was she was really good in her. She role. was she, very good at being Shotzi Black. She yes. she had she had good presence. She felt like a star. That's the whole. That was the whole reason she was there. I mean, you know, she didn't have much to do. She did a run in at the end, but I'm I'm just curious what all the weird how all the weird stuff does because it will be, you know, I mean, weird. You never know with weird stuff. The weird stuff is usually hit or miss, and um, you know, we'll find out. But. Um, I, yeah, I'm not the first, the first stuff, just not a fan of, um, Dexter Loomis zombies. Um, 
you know, I, I, I can't say I was bored by it, but didn't like it. The one in the ring, I thought, um, I was already checked out the one in the ring with all the zombies and everything. I'd already seen it. And that to me just, I don't know how long that was, but it was too long. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.